This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Mazda is proving it can play with everyone else in the crossover segment with this, the CX-7. A few years ago, it might have been classified as a small SUV. But in true crossover style, the vehicle is based on a car-like platform very close to the Mazda 6 sedan. In fact, if you look at the body lines and accents, the family resemblance to the sedan side of the brand become clear, very clear. Wisely, Mazda is moving away from the boxy styling that dominated a lot of its vehicles when the company was a subsidiary of Ford, whose management at the time demanded cookie cutter approaches across many of its product lines. The 2010 CX-7 tips the scales between 3,500 and 3,800 pounds depending on the drivetrain and engine configuration and has seating for four adults with comfort. When it was originally launched, the CX-7 only came with one engine, but now there are two different motors available under the hood. The 2.5 liter i-series four-cylinder with variable valve timing offers 161 horsepower and 161 foot-pounds of torque. And for drivers who want more performance, the S-Series 2.3 liter turbocharged four-cylinder delivers 244 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. Both engines come with a dual overhead cam and timing chain for easier maintenance. Now, what makes a crossover attractive are the car-like features, and Mazda is keeping pace, offering things like one-touch fold-down rear seats that increase cargo space from 30 cubic feet to nearly twice that amount with the seats down. Up front, the standard multifunction display screen is well-placed within a driver's line of sight. In a week of testing, we found the CX-7 to be agile enough in every situation. Blind spots were minimal, and interior noise levels were better than expected at this price point. Overall, we found the CX-7 to hit the mark in most areas as the company continues to make its way as a standalone manufacturer. This approach will have to continue for the brand to survive and prosper. This is Greg Morrison.